What's going on YouTube? My name is Mayor Fanboy. So um, recently I purchased um, a lot of nine phones from Facebook Marketplace. Um, these are quite cheap here. Uh, I got these two phones for sixty thousand dong or three dollars, and the rest are for um, three dollars um, each, and the rest is for are for thirty k Vietnam dong on and which is also me which is um a dollar and a half US dollars so without further ado let's start so uh, let's start with um this bag right here this bag there is four phone right here uh the seller is within Hanoi so we were able to he was able to ship by himself to my place so let's start with um this one right here First of all, here is a very old Samsung phone of some sort. I got this. I have never seen this model before. It is the SGH C2 C260. It doesn't seem to be unlocked to any carrier, which is a good sign because I think most models I've seen with, with of this one are for, I believe, um, Orange or Vodafone or something like that. So that's the first phone. I will test that later. Let's start with the second one. Um, this one is in the worst shape of all, um, anyway. But here is one of the. Oh, this is um, this is one of the six thirty three hundred he was sorting, and this is the one that in that is in the best shape. Um, it's kind of broken, as you can see, and I have no idea how. Oh, here, here you go. That's how you took the back cover off. And hi I highly doubt this will work anyway because it's in this condition and I highly doubt it will. Um. There we go. Fifty three hundred. So yeah, not not really um, having any high hope this one, but I just want to leave that there. There was two more. There are two more phones. Here is a um, a Nokia, very old Nokia. Not old, but um, I actually kind of want one of these models for quite a while. Yeah, I might need to get a battery for it. This is a um, twenty six hundred C. Um, I might have to grab one of the battery. To test this one because I might not have the battery for this one, but I kind of want one of that model for quite a while. So, and here's the last one I bought from him. Here's the last one from the first pack. This is a Motorola strong water damage indicator. It is the W220. I have seen a couple of these models on um, several. Um, carrier um, doesn't seem to be healthy and the hinge, the hinge doesn't seem to be healthy but oh well now let's come to this pack right here I'm going to start with the top one there we go do all of them at the same time let's start with these two um, I mean let's do those two last um, start with um, this one so this is a Miss Wave phone. I think this is a very weird brand. You you think it's a great brand, weird brand, but I think the, they made phone for VNPT um, carriers. Oh, this is a Huawei T210. Let's see, do you have a battery for this? I am not sure. It might take a proprietary one, which I don't have. Take mini USB, so I might be able to test it. Next, oh, this one is a um, it's pretty scratch up. This is a Nokia thirty five hundred. I saw one of these in the flea market, but it doesn't turn on. So let's hope this one to work. Yeah, thirty five hundred C. I'm I'm pretty I'm certain, most certainly sure that these don't come with battery. So and here is a Samsung. Um, this is a CDMA phone. As CHX169 so I don't have the um, SIM card for this one so it is I believe on 
um, some CDMA carrier, but this is looks similar to my um, one of my phones, similar to my mom's first cell phone. Um, the I don't know, but it's could look kind of similar to the X one sixty I got recently in the first flea market lot in the last recent flea market. Um, this was 50 k in contrast. So if this turn on, and I will be happy with it. And now to the phone that I may have over pray for it because I told asked the seller to test them. This is a um, this is the first one anyway. This is the um, the Nokia 6085. So I actually w been wanting one of these for quite a while now. And um, yeah, um, I was thinking between this one and uh, an unknown Sony Ericsson, which turned out to be um, lock. It, the, he was he was selling that for three dollars as well. So. There's that Nokia. Um, I kind of want one of this, and this is the one that I really want for this collection. This is a Nokia sixty sixty. He was selling two of these. I then grabbed this one because this is the one that he'd say it works. Um. So yeah, really want one of this. So I have. One SIM card it is a Viettel one I got from re a recent flea market trip. I might need to grab a CDMA card to work to use with this one because I might think this one may um, use that card. Um, and I'm needing one of the battery. Uh, let's see which battery should I use. Um, uh, let me as well grab a CDMA card real quick. Yeah, my yeah, it's a mess right now. Uh, I might have a bad deal because I couldn't really um, uh, ha haven't really test seven of these phones because I don't know why, but yeah, this is what it is. I was all going to walk about that Sony Ericsson, but it uh, turned out to be only in Chinese and all stuff like that, which is terrible. So. Let's start with the one I'm um, clearly that it will work. This is a which is this one. This is the uh, 6060. And I have a Viettel SIM card right over here. I am actually quite surprised that this, that he sold this one for me for $60 60 for three dollars because I have seen models on this one being sold for in similar condition being sold for more. So this one should turn on because he tested this one before he showed sell it to me or not. Um, what's the problem? I might have my grab the wrong battery for this one. Yeah, I might have. I have to do one of these. Um, Yeah, we'll come back to this one. He said he he said this one does turn on. And uh, this one he said it had a burn polarizer and that's it. And that's the only problem with it really. So I'm guessing this will turn on as well. Um probably not. Maybe I've got have been scammed. There we go, it turned on. And the, as you can see, the polarizer is burned, but it still turn on. Still play the Nokia tone tune. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, the polarizer is burned, but you can actually still use it because. And here's the front display. The front display is perfectly fine. Um, and this is not locked to any carrier as well, so yeah. <laughs> Um, so that one works. I'm going. I'm really going to buy to this one later on. But first, let's start with the. Uh, let's actually let's start with this one. This one, I highly doubt it will turn on. Oh, it did. <laughs> surprise. I'm actually not really surprised. Not really <laughs> expecting this to turn on. 
but yeah, I'm really happy because it's in really rough condition. So yeah, really happy with that. That's what we ate. I won't test with this one. I will test that later because it doesn't have any lock code for some reason. I'm going back back and see if I had a battery for this one. And let's start with this Motorola right here. As far as I know, this Motorola take a SIM card, so I will need to put one of the card out and putting on here. Um, let's see how you put this card. Um, I don't know. There we go. That should be it. There we go. And I let's see. Um, I only have this moral battery charge. Um, does this one show any sign of life at all? Um, looks like looks like it didn't. So I want to put this on one side and test the misway um let's see do i have a battery for this one i might not uh, but looks like i can turn on using this method it doesn't it doesn't seem to turn on Yeah, this doesn't seem to turn on. This one doesn't seem to turn on either. Maybe you have to pull the power button long enough for it to turn on. Uh, see, um, I think one of the pins of this battery is... Um, this battery, I know it should charge. This this battery should be charged beforehand when I did this video. Yeah, you see, this is a charge battery, so... Alright, is that... This one's dead, um... Let's see, um... Is this one's dead? I think... Um... Uh, let's see, uh, Samsung battery. Does, does the Samsung battery fit? No. Um, let's start with the, let's try the 35 Hungry C. Um, let's see, do you have a battery for this? Yes, it's right here. This one, I believe, take 4C, 5C. Uh, that battery is loose. Let's see, um, do you have any extra battery in this one? This one. Oh yeah, this one had a bad LCD. Okay, so this one had a bad LCD, and that is the only problem with it. And I'm, I'm most certainly sure that it will be unlocked, it will be locked to a passcode because, um, because these this Nokia doesn't require SIM card to turn on. So when I press this, it should play the Nokia tune, but it didn't. Um, let's try the Samsung since I have bad for both of them. Let's try the this Anico one. Hmm. Oh, it's in silent. What wireless is this on? Oh my god, it is in the Chinese, so. I only have one CDMA uh, card, which is this S one right here. This it's kind of sad to see that say that this is a actually only use ha, use a Chinese um CMA network. So yeah, pretty sad. Let's see. Um, does this recognize? All right, it did recognize S phone. Looks like it did recognize a S phone card, 
which is good. Um, let's see. Um, is there any way to change the language? Because it's in. Okay, here it is. Okay, so this is a um, CDMA Samsung, which is fully functional, as you can see. I'm uh, not sure how. Uh, Okay, so the tone does work. Okay, looks like it does work. Um, so with that S1 card, it's turn on. Shishi. All right. So that Samsung is working. I'm gonna put the SIM card in because I'm actually surprised that S phone SIM card work on some of the phone. It works on my 6030. And here is the um, What? It does not turn on. I mean, the C phone can turn on, but not this one. I don't know, don't know why. battery contacts problem no I don't see any problem in the battery contact um this may be broken completely all the power button is broken because I don't see any water indicator on this one and I I'm not too sure where um what's what type of charge did this one take Oh, I don't have that charger. But... Now I need to get the... The 6060 working because the seller say it does turn on. And it does not for some reason. There we go, finally. This is one I one I kinda of wanted for quite a while because I kinda of like how this look. Oh yeah, I don't have the back cover on it, so where's that? Where's that back cover? That's for moto um this one. So I'm actually very happy to see that this one is actually uh, fully functional. It's very kind of loose though, so I may have to do some stuff with it. Um, it's not really unstable enough. Uh, looks like this came from China. Okay. So there's that flip phone. Um, I'm not sure what's wrong with this one. It doesn't t seem to turn on, and I don't have the charge of this, so. Is it? Yeah, it doesn't seem to turn on. Um, but as you can see, um, EC Nokia is working. Um, this Motorola, I'm not sure what's wrong with it. I'm going to test that later. Same with this Samsung. Uh, I haven't tested Nokia. I don't have a bad. I may have a battery for this. It might, it, but. I don't have that. Um, um, 
sorry, I don't have a battery for this. Yeah, I don't have a battery for this one, so I'm not really able to test it. It take a BL4B battery, so I'm going to test that later uh, to see. Um, this um, Miss Wave phone, I don't have a battery for it either, so I can test it. I might need to buy one of the BL4B battery just to test it because a couple form I need. Um, let's see, these are untested. Um, this one work. This one work. Just need a sim. SIM card, you don't need a um, original SIM card. This one, it had a bad, bad LCD, but it turned on. This one turned on to it went to a working LCD, which is a surprise. And these two doesn't work. So, I'm really happy that I got four working phone. This one turned on. Um, I couldn't test these two. Uh, this one doesn't, this one doesn't work. This one doesn't work. This one had a bad LCD. And these two I don't have a battery for, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy and peace.